today I want to show how I use Notion as an architecture student to organize my project. In case you don't know, Notion is a block-based note-taking application. The best thing about it, you can create your own custom templates with it. They offer unlimited free plans for everyone. But if you are a student, you can get a premium free version with your university email. So when you open it for the first time, you will find an empty page like this. You can write name of your first page on the top part. If you like, you can choose an icon for your page. And add an image on the top parts. You can change image on the right side. You can upload your own image or directly choose one from there. And you can just start typing plain text like this. But if you type slight sign, then this menu will pop up. And from this menu, you can create different type of blocks like to-do list, page, tables, or toggle list. With this ones, you can create your own custom layouts. But there are also ready to use templates directly inside Notion. When you create a new page, you can see this template button on the lower part. And from this menu, you can find hundreds of different templates that you can directly copy and start using in your own page. And you can just say get template and it will directly be copied to your page. This is the page I have been using for the last two years during my university. I have a specific page for each semester in this part. For example, if you click on the 8th semester, I can find all the subjects I had during my 8th semester in the university. Complex 1 was my main design subject for that semester, so let's check that one. And here I can see all the main pages I used for this project. And if I click on sources, I can easily find all the reference materials I saved for this project. And if you go back, I can also find different categories for my weekly notes so I can see my notes from each week during the project concept presentation and midterm presentation to do list so I know what I should do exactly also my questions my different tasks for this project and for this project I had to consult with four other departments other than my design teacher so I created different pages for all of them. In this one you can see I embedded a PDF file directly into Notion. So I know where is my test sheet. I don't have to search for it over and over again. So this was how I used Notion for the last two years to organize my university project. But now I have updated it and created a template. So you can copy and start using it. And here is the updated version. I added some notes for each section of the template so you can find your way easily even if you didn't use Notion before. So on the left part there is navigation bar where you can see all the pages of the template like project references database etc together with a quick notes section. On the right side we see all of our ongoing project with their deadline and progress bar. So depending on your task, you can see what percentage of the project is done. Let me show you the rest of the home page and then we can check one of the project pages. In the second section, I want to list down some of the resources, tools, websites I find useful. Some of them are really obvious tools, but I wanted to add them anyway because maybe some people don't know about them. When I started studying architecture, I didn't know almost any of them and I wasted so many hours using the wrong tools so I hope this can be helpful for some of you to avoid this. They are categorized as softwares, platforms where you can find textures and 3D materials, cut out people, trees and objects for post-production or website where you can create custom maps for your urban analyzers and I added some of extra AI tools that can be useful as well. So if you click on the map section, you can see all the different platforms here. For example, let's check the cat mapper. Once you open the page, you can click the link to access it. 
Let's move to the next section, which is the reference database. In this part, you can see all the reference projects, documents, magazines, and websites you save to use in your projects. If you open one of them, you can find all the images and information about this project automatically saved to this page. I'm gonna show how we can get this information automatically directly from your web browser with an extension later in the video. I think the most exciting part about this page is you can see why you save this reference. In other words, this is a reference for which one of your project. On the top part, we can see we save this reference for our student competition. Okay, so this is the main project page. In the top part, you can see project status and project type. Is it a competition work? Is the university project or related to work? You can also mark deadline for your project. And in the lower part, you can find all the tasks related to this project. Once you're done with one of the tasks, you can mark it as a done. And now as you will realize the project's status is also changed accordingly. You can add new task, put deadline for your task and change the priority. If we go down on the right part, we have quick to do's and notes part, and also weekly notes. So you can write down for each week what happened, what was your feedbacks, what was your new ideas about this week. Then you can add a new week with this button. I have created five main sections for your initial ideas, project location, project program, concept and the files you want to access quickly. For the project location you can directly attach a site map from Google Maps and you can write down your notes about neighborhood analysis, your notes from your site visits and together with pictures you took in the site visit. For the project program, you can write down who is the client, what is the primary function, all the building, etc. And for the project files, you can upload the files you want to access quickly. This part became really useful for me at the end of the semester when I was preparing my presentations. All the information I need was already ready in this part. I mean, of course, you don't have to use all the sections and write down everything about your project. But at the end, it really helps to see everything together in one place. Because later in the project, most probably you will not remember what you were thinking during your site visit or during the first weeks, what was your initial ideas. So it's good to save them. And in the last section, you can find all the references you saved specifically for this project. Okay, now I want to show the extension to you. It's called Notion Saver. Notion has its own official extension too, but this one is much better. You can download it from this page and then sign in with your Notion account. Let's say we want to save this project as a reference. Go ahead and click the icon on the right side. When you're saving it for the first time, you have to create a template first. So click on add form. Choose the reference database. I'm going to choose extra content so you can see all the information directly from the page. Now say add field and choose project type and tags, all of them. So you can choose which project you are saving directly from your browser. And then hit the save button. Now you can close it and when you open it again you will see our template is ready. So from here you can choose the project and types and then flip page. Now if you go back to Notion in the reference part as you can see our project is already saved with all the information and images direct from the website. You can copy this Notion template to your own page using the link in the video description. I will add all the resources used in this video to the description part. So when you open the link, just click on the duplicate button on the right upper corner. And after you sign in with your Notion account, 
it will be directly duplicated to your own page. So I tried to create a more detailed system, but of course it can be too complex for some of you. If you don't think you need some of the sections, you can just delete them to simplify your own version. Don't feel overwhelmed with them. You just don't need to fill out all the information at once. For example, if you think you already know all of the tools under the resources page, you can just delete it to have a cleaner home page. I will update this resources tab regularly when I find new tools. So you can check it time to time with using same link. So that was it for this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know what you think about this Notion templates in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.